Los Angeles, Larry Stork, the rubber-faced comic whose long career in theater, movies and television was capped by his F troop role as Zany Corporal. Agarn in the 1960s spoof of Western Frontier TV shows, died Friday. Stork was 99. Stork died of natural causes early Friday in his New York City apartment, according to his manager, Matt Beckoff. Although F Troop lasted only two seasons on ABC, from 1965 to 1967, it became a cult favorite in reruns. Its devoted fans could recite almost all of the adventures of the incredibly incompetent soldiers of Fort Courage and the members of the nearby Native American tribe who only pretended to be at war with them. As a garn, Stork was the wild-eyed partner and protege of Forrest Tucker's wily Sergeant Urk, who often schemed with Frank Dakova's chief wild eagle to fleece unsuspecting visitors. Ken Berry's Captain Paramander was Fort Courage's clueless commander. While Laugh Troop brought him lasting fame, Stork appeared in scores of films and TV shows both before and after the show. He also enjoyed a long career in theater and as a comic at resorts in New York State's Catskill Mountains area. He never regretted being best known for the series, his manager said. He embraced it. He loved being a garn and relished working with his co-stars, said Beckoff. Stork was the kindest, sweetest person, who always had time for autograph seekers and was generous to people in need, he said. Stork's credits included Funny Valentine, Sweet Sixteen, Sex and the Single Girl, S, O, B, Airport, Treasure Island and Oliver Twist. On TV. He guest starred on such shows as Married, With Children, Archie Bunker's Place, Trapper John, M. D., Fantasy Island, Chips, Th. Stork said in a 1998 interview that he was surprised to be considered for an army comedy such as F Troop, with it being well known that he served in the Navy during World War II. All I knew about horses was that they give milk and can bite from both ends, he quipped. Indeed, it was his Navy service that had greatly boosted his career. During the war, he had met a radio operator in the Marshall Islands named Bernie Schwartz who had told him, I'm going to be a movie star. Stork, already a seasoned comic on the resort circuit, had tried to talk him out of it, warning him that the business could be tough. They met again after the war, and Schwartz, who by now had changed his name to Tony Curtis, remembered the funny guy from the islands. 